Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka Daboo.com with the Daboo.com Surf Forecast Update. This forecast update effective around 12.15 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, July 10th, 2014. And guys, if you saw our video update the other day, we kind of briefly mentioned possible homegrown development over in the Gulf of Mexico. And what we mean by homegrown development is in our definition is when models aren't showing anything developing and something does develop or something develops near the coast and it's in your backyard meaning homegrown development here's the latest look at an area low pressure now off the mexican coast just to the south of tampico mexico uh just a little bit north northwest of the bay of campeche uh convection has been firing up all morning long this morning and it appears that a possible surface low may have developed in here now wind shear is high in the moderate range we'll show you that here in just a few moments but one of the reasons why we're looking at this even though folks over in the panhandle uh, may not uh, affect you weather wise tropical in nature if we can get some southwest winds blowing over here this could help push over some of that southeast little windswell that's in the Gulf of Mexico now closer over towards the panhandle. We'll just have to see how this holds up through the afternoon. It's likely it, that as the afternoon progresses, wind shear will get a hold of it and rip, start ripping on the cloud tops here. But here's the latest infrared and you can see how much convection has blown up in here this morning, but at the same time, looks like it's starting to get blown apart a little bit. But it's the wrap that's coming down the coast right here that leads us to believe that a little surface low may be trying to develop along the coast in here. Um, we posted this morning on Facebook uh, an image here, and uh, a lot of times we, we, we see signs, and one of the signs that we look at is when an area of low pressure starts to take on the look of a bald eagle, um, and you can kind of see, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, an area up here that kind of looks like an eagle head. Now, they call that screaming eagle waves when a tropical wave uh, can take on the shape of what looks to be like an eagle you can look that up on wikipedia so we don't mention that lightly or in jest um when we look at the latest wind shear analysis you can see down here in the bay of campeche wind shear is high but along the mexican coast wind shear is decreased just a little bit and it's up in here towards texas where wind shear becomes a little bit more favorable but it doesn't necessarily just because wind shear is high doesn't mean that something won't develop uh tropical in nature so we're going to continue to watch that upper level winds are high out of the west northwest at around 20 25 knots in here if we can get it to relax just a little bit we we may see something try and develop. Guys, that's all we got for you for now on the Gomex. We're going to be watching this throughout the day. Watch our Facebook and Twitter post in case something happens, and we'll be waiting for National Hurricane Center's 2 o'clock update and the most recent model runs. So stay tuned for the next update.